Hi, my name is Grace Lillian Lee. I'm a creative within the space of art, culture and fashion. I am a multicultural Australian woman. My mum is German, Danish and English and my father is Chinese and Torres Strait Islander. I explore my lineage through fashion and weaving is a predominant uh, practice in my creative development and expression. My mum's a hairdresser and my father's a fitter and turner. However, he took to painting um, when I was a young, uh, a young child um, and had a couple of galleries here in Cairns. Um, so I saw him paint and create throughout my childhood, um, but I never really understood or knew why he painted under an alias. Now I understand his personal struggle um, for him not to identify because he was fearful of what he looked like, that people just looked at him and saw a Chinese man, whereas he's not just a Chinese man. So I think for, for me to witness and be a part of that and then to be able to reflect it, reflect um, why that situation happened because of his upbringing um, from grandma um, in the 1950s, it was safer to not identify as a Torres Strait Islander, rather be brought up as a Chinese um, child. So it was almost like he was an undercover artist, if you want to call it that. So, which really saddens me because, and I think that gives me more strength to want to stand up and use my full name and say, I'm Lee and also I'm multicultural and this is who I am and that's just how it is. <laughs> I studied at Cairns State High School and I purely chose this high school in Cairns because of the arts and it was definitely a focus of mine. They had a center of art development and they also had an annual competition which was a wearable art competition and all my efforts went to this more than my overall score um, at the end of the year. And it was a really integral part for me to realize that what I was actually interested in was wearable art. After graduating high school, I wanted to go to university and I wanted to go to the top design school in Australia, which is RMIT in Melbourne. So I applied and unfortunately I didn't get in. So then I went to TAFE for a year to build my portfolio because that was what was recommended. And then after doing the year of TAFE of upskilling and learning um, how to sew and pattern make, I then reapplied and got into UTS and RMIT. I did four years at RMIT studying fashion and design. Uh, relocating from Cairns was quite difficult for me. I hadn't lived in a big city nor had I lived in share houses. So it was a really good experience for me to to grow as an individual. In terms of the actual course, I think it's created some really good foundations for me to excel. And in my final year of creating my collection Intertwine, this was a really interesting um, expression and exploration of my culture. Um, but I did face some um, discrimination because I didn't look right to um, some teachers. So it was Definitely something that I learned early on that, um, you know, this is going to be a part of my challenge and um, growth as a person to learn about acceptance and identity and my want to explore that further and be able to share with um, the nation about how diverse um, our country is. How I came to exploring my uh, lineage through fashion was through uh, taking my grandmother back to the Torres Straits where she hadn't returned for 57 years. And this was something that was um, very eye-opening for me as I hadn't, I didn't, I wasn't brought up with cultural privilege and understanding that this was part of my identity. So it was something that I really wanted to express and really um, celebrate through the best way I knew how, and that was through creation on the body. So I studied fashion design at RMIT and graduated the same year I took my grandmother back to the Torres Straits. And in that year, I created a collection called Intertwined where I explored three different weaving techniques, uh, the grasshopper weaving, the basket weaving, and fish weaving, which was 
which was all taught to me by Uncle Ken Thide, who has been a mentor of mine um, throughout this process to understand and learn and share knowledge of um, traditional techniques 